A troubled couple encounters a mysterious guest with a proposal that might hold the key to mending their strained marriage. In 2065, fresh water and land are the most precious commodities. Cities face overpopulation, rural areas are abandoned, and new settlement plans extend to outer space. An emerging technology, human substitutes, AI robots with consciousness, is anticipated to replace human labor on Earth soon. In the Midwest, an unhappy couple resides on an isolated farm. Henrietta, the wife, wife weeps in the shower, contemplating her failing marriage with Junior, her husband whom she believes has replaced her with someone else. That night, a self-driving vehicle with a mysterious passenger is on its way to the farm. The car's green light shines through the window, awakening the sleeping Junior on the couch. The man then rises and gazes outside. When he notices the approaching vehicle, he immediately alerts his wife. As their place is seldom visited, Henrietta assumes the stranger in the car must be lost. However, Junior, suspicious of the mysterious visitor gets his shotgun. The woman intervenes, urging him to put it away. Suddenly, the couple hears a knock on the door. Upon opening it, the couple meets Terence, a representative of Outermore, a multinational company focused on off-Earth habitation, in simpler terms, living in space. Henrietta warmly welcomes the guest. As they gather in the living room, Terence shows a video and explains that his company is advancing the next phase of human existence in space. They've decided to construct their space station and establish their planet. When Junior asks why the man visited them, the Outer Moor representative explains they plan to send some people to live in outer space temporarily. However, Henrietta reacts negatively, questioning why the company prioritizes sending people to space instead of addressing issues on Earth. Terence then clarifies that they are planning for the future of future generations. Upon hearing this, Henrietta asks if he has kids. Instead of answering, he requests a drink. When Terence is alone with Junior, the representative asks if he remembers when there were still real farms. The man mentions that the last time he saw a real farm was when he was still a kid. However, corporations burned the remaining farms and cleared the fields to install hybrid stuff. Unbeknownst to them, Henrietta is eavesdropping on their conversation near the door. Henrietta then interrupts their conversation and enters with the drinks. Shortly after, Terence explains that he is assigned to handle the couple's file. This statement prompts the confused Junior to question his wife if she signed them up for anything. However, Henrietta denies doing so. Terence intervenes clarifying that his company conducted a lottery and Junior has been shortlisted. This means he is qualified to temporarily live in space based on his physical capabilities and specific skills. Upon hearing this, Junior wonders what will happen if he rejects the offer. The guest only explains the concept of conscription, signifying that the man is obligated to accept since he was selected. However, Junior feels upset, asking Terrence if he's threatening them. In response, the representative explains that this could be an opportunity for him to become a hero, suggesting that it could also be a chance for them to live better lives. This information excites Henrietta, who finds the proposal appealing. When Junior asks how long the shortlist is, Terence explains that nothing will be decided in a couple of years but reveals that the tests usually operate on two-year cycles. After the discussion, Junior walks Terence to his car. Before the representative leaves, he advises the man to comfort Henrietta, understanding that the news can upset her. Upon the man's return, he discovers his wife preparing to sleep. Despite his insistence on an immediate discussion, she suggests talking the next day because she doesn't feel well. Shortly after, she requests him to sleep in the guest room. The next morning, after Junior goes to work at the poultry processing factory, Henrietta heads to the basement to play her old piano, something she only does when he's not around. Shortly after, she rides her bike to the roadside diner where she works as a waitress. That evening, the couple talks over drinks. Junior tries to reassure his wife, mentioning that the Outer Moor representative won't select him because he has little to offer. Suddenly, Junior asks his wife to refrain from wearing the shirt she wore on their first date. He explains that the more she wears it, the more worn out it will become. Upon hearing the sweet remark, Henrietta smiles and asks him what else he can remember from that day. In response, he recalls that they were happy. As a result of their discussion, the wife touches her husband while he sleeps in the guest room, leading to a romantic moment. The next day, they wake up beside each other. Henrietta initiates a conversation about their marriage. Junior says he has never doubted marrying her in the last seven years. The woman then realizes she has been distant, driving her to apologize to her husband. Following that interaction, their relationship begins to heal. A year later, after a dust storm, Terence revisits the couple, informing them that Junior has been officially chosen because participants must be from different walks of life
safe to understand life in space better. However, Junior insists that the representative should choose someone else. However, the guest explains that there will be compensation to persuade him to agree to the opportunity. Shortly after, Terrence informs the couple that he will live with them for a while as part of the procedure. He will conduct research, observe, and collect data during his stay. He also reveals that Junior will leave in a few weeks, causing Henrietta to cry. To comfort his wife, Junior embraces her tightly. Later that day, Henrietta emotionally prepares herself for what will happen. Although she forces herself to smile, her anxiety manifests in other things. When Junior arrives home from work, he catches Henrietta throwing his stuff away. He tries to calm her, but she panics and suddenly cleans the house, knowing that Terrence will stay with them soon. Later, she spots a beetle while putting some clothes in the closet. Upon seeing it, she worries about an infestation, but Junior volunteers to handle the bug. However, as the man stares curiously at it, he wonders why it's not moving. The following day, Junior leaves his job halfway through his shift and visits Henrietta at the diner where she works. To spend quality time with his wife before his departure, he drives her to a dried up beach, and they kiss each other passionately while standing on the pink sand. Later, they share a romantic moment in an abandoned location and playfully chase each other in a spacious field. Before the sun sets, Henrietta spots a lone horse and tries to touch it. Suddenly, Junior sees a cloud of smoke from afar and runs to check on it, prompting his wife to follow him. As the man rushes, he passes by horses running in the opposite direction. Then, he sees a burning house, thinking that it's theirs. He also spots a swarm of beetles heading towards the flaming structure. As Junior is about to run towards the flames, Terrence interrupts him, restraining him. Behind them, Henrietta tells the man not to hurt her husband because it's not his fault. The next day, Henrietta wakes up Junior, informing him that someone had just burned an old barn the previous night. Disturbed, Junior believes something wrong is happening, and they're in danger. However, Henrietta only tells him that he was the one who went into the fire, asking him what was in the flames that attracted him to it. Suddenly, Terrence enters the bedroom, hoping Junior's act wasn't intentional so he could avoid leaving. In his defense, Junior asserts that he didn't do it on purpose. The man also learns that he sustained a shoulder injury and was operated on while unconscious. That evening, the Outer Moor representative prepares a drink for the couple, understanding their upcoming separation will be difficult. However, he assures them that their sacrifice is for the greater good. When Junior asks why he's following them, the representative explains that he wants to keep him safe as a participant and his wife. He then reveals that while he's gone, Outer Moor will ensure that someone will be with Henrietta to keep her company and preserve their marriage. Marriage. However, the couple finds the idea ridiculous since Henrietta can handle being alone. In response, the man reveals that the replacement wouldn't be a different man but Junior's clone. As a part of developing this replica, the guest explains that he will conduct a series of interviews throughout his stay, aiming to observe their daily routine. Over the following days, Terrence records Junior's every move and asks him questions about his marriage. Simultaneously, the participant's shoulder injury heals, and he begins exercising physically and mentally for his upcoming trip to space. During one test, Junior faces the wall. Suddenly, Henrietta interrupts, worried about her husband's situation. Despite not being allowed inside, she kisses him before heading out of the room. After the wife leaves, Terrence advises Junior to inform him if his wife begins acting oddly. He explains that for their marriage to survive, the participant's clone must understand everything, including private details. Unbeknownst to them, Henrietta is listening to their conversation. The interview then begins. When the representative asks if Junior has cheated on his spouse, the man reveals that he never did. He also discloses that Henrietta has never cheated on him. Him. However, these sensitive questions soon frustrate him, prompting him to leave. Shortly after, Junior heads down to the basement and sits beside Henrietta as she plays the piano. Suddenly, she wonders why her husband isn't stopping her from playing because he usually does that. Upon hearing this, Junior feels confused. The woman then clarifies that he permanently established a routine she must follow, wanting her to be a traditional wife rather than a woman with dreams. The next day, Junior discovers Terence's device playing Henrietta's interview. He also sees these photos of his wife in the representative's belongings. This immediately disturbs him. Suddenly, he notices a hole in the wall in the bedroom, realizing that someone is peeping through it from the bathroom. In their conversation, Henrietta discloses to Terrence that Junior no longer sees her for who she is. The woman also shares that she feels she has lost her individuality, worrying that she'll never get it back. Upon hearing this, the guest advises that she no longer needs to conceal her true self. He encourages her to use the replacement as an opportunity to be seen by her husband again. He assures her that Junior's clone will behave just like when she first 
first knew her spouse. While Junior is sleeping, Terrence squeezes his face, making it hard for him to breathe. Then, a couple of Outermore staff members appear in the background. The following day, Junior awakens and sees a tipsy Terrence interacting and drinking with Henrietta. He immediately feels jealous and advises his wife not to talk to the guest alone anymore. However, when he tries to embrace her, she only walks away. Later, Terrence prepares Junior for another interview and puts a bracelet on him to check his hydration levels. During the interrogation, the man doesn't find it appropriate when the representative asks about his wife's private preferences. Eventually, he breaks down, ranting about how people are disgusting and just want to be seen. Out of his frustration, he starts punching the walls. The noise leads Henrietta to knock behind the door, but the smiling Terrence reassures her that Junior is okay. While showering, Junior attempts to remove the bracelet, becoming frustrated when he can't get it off. He then sits on the bathtub and starts laughing, contemplating how ridiculous everything is. Then, he faces the mirror and cries, prompting Henrietta to comfort him. After spending a romantic time together, Junior tells her to start a family when he returns from space. His wife then agrees. That morning, Henrietta departs with Terrence. Alone at home, he cleans up the bloodstains on the wall from the previous night's punches. Afterward, he pours the pail of red fluid onto the field. While gazing into the distance, he spots a strange man behind a trunk, prompting him to rush home and load his shotgun. When Junior looks out the window, he sees people running on the field, compelling him to confront them outside. As the armed men follow his enemies, he spots a spaceship above him. He fires at it, thinking the intruders have escaped. Suddenly, a stranger in a suit punches him and sticks a blinking dot on his nape. When Junior regains consciousness, he walks home and sees Henrietta returning to their house. Once inside, he heads upstairs and hears Terrence speaking with another guy. While in the bathroom, Junior realizes that his wife is listening to a recorded conversation between him and Terrence. While holding the device, Henrietta hears her husband's honest thoughts about her piano playing, realizing he believes she is trying to be someone else. Afterward, she returns the recorder to Terrence, who asks her how she feels about everything after experiencing her husband's replacement. In response, the woman shares that she always had this fantasy that there was an opportunity outside her married life. She discloses to the representative that she can only fulfill her wish if she dares to let everything go. Junior is heartbroken upon hearing Henrietta's intention to depart, leading him to tears. She also reveals her plan to leave a blank letter for him. Terrence assures that he will support her once she has made a firm decision. Upon hearing this, a furious Junior realizes that Terrence is his replacement, not a clone as promised. He then interrupts their conversation and confronts the representative aggressively, accusing him of lying. Henrietta then intervenes, explaining to her husband that his assumption is wrong. The following morning, the woman cuts her hair. That night, a spaceship arrives, and the real Junior returns, revealing that the man spending time with Henrietta from the beginning was the clone all along. As Junior sees his cuffed replica on the floor, he feels amazed that they look identical. On the other hand, the clone feels devastated upon seeing the real him and realizing that he's the replacement. Terrence then explains that Junior's first day in space is also the clone's first day at the couple's house. He activated the replica with his car's green headlights, designed its memory by feeding it information from the real visits, and studied its total capacity for human connection. Realizing he's not real, the clone breaks down and calls for Henrietta, who runs to comfort and kiss him for the last time, revealing that she has fallen for him. Shortly after, the Outermore staff takes the morning woman outside to prevent her from interrupting the procedure. Inside, the real Junior watches as his clone weeps. Before the deactivating procedure, Terrence congratulates the replacement for his significant contribution to humanity. Shortly after, individuals in protective suits apply a sealing fluid to the replica, encase it in plastic and extract the air, ensuring a secure closure. The following day, Junior and Henrietta are left alone at home. However, the woman is still saddened by the clone's demise that she cannot make love to her husband properly. During dinner, Junior confronts his wife for falling for the replica. In her defense, Henrietta tries to explain that she didn't see it as cheating because the clone allowed her to reconnect with the version of him whom she first fell in love with. In response, Junior asserts that what she felt for the replacement is not genuine. When Henrietta tries to remind him of their dreams, he insists that they are meant to stay on the farm and that no other opportunity exists for her. 
suddenly it rains, prompting Henrietta to go outside and enjoy herself. She tries pulling Junior to join her, but he pushes her away and enters the house. Frustrated, the woman later plays her piano and eventually breaks it. Junior sees a letter on the dining table addressed to him the following day. Upon opening it, there is no message, revealing that Henrietta has carried out her plan to leave for good. While Junior is at work, Terence visits the house and discovers that the woman has departed. Meanwhile, the clueless husband tries to search for his wife at the roadside diner, but she's nowhere to be found. That afternoon, Junior attempts to pick flowers for his spouse and then places them in a vase. However, during dinner, he cries when he realizes his wife is never returning. Suddenly, a green light shines through the window, and Henrietta arrives, comforting and assuring him that everything's okay. They share a romantic time that night, and following that encounter, their relationship improves. One morning, Henrietta notices a beetle on the sink and remarks that she has never seen one before, prompting Junior to crush it. Afterward, the couple shares a sweet moment dancing and singing together. Unbeknownst to him, the real Henrietta has boarded a plane, excited to start a new chapter of her life and fulfill her dreams. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.